welcome back to another video. I apologize for the delay. Uh, it's been, I, don't know, I guess, two weeks since I made a video. Um, that sucks. But uh, I was waiting on a push rod length tool um, checker there so that I can check the push rod length for this 408. And uh, I've been feeling a little under the weather. I uh, apparently got shingles. I don't know. Got a band-aid covering it because nobody wants to stare at that black hole. Uh, trust me. <laughs> so it's starting to spread a little bit on my, my face, my eye and stuff. So yeah, I'm not feeling that great. But uh want to get this uh, get, get this thing measured out, get the push rod length figured out so we can get those push rods at least ordered. And I really wanted to put it on, on video for you. So uh, bear with me if uh, I'm a little shaky or screw up a little bit somewhere uh, with the verbiage. But uh, yeah, let's get to this. So the first thing we're going to do uh, to get this thing going, I'm going to use this uh, valve spring compressor tool. Uh, it's for designed with the heads on. Uh, just thread it onto the stud. You'll watch me do that. Compress the spring, take the keepers out, and uh, release it. Pull it off. We'll put those uh, soft springs back on uh, for cylinder number one here. And uh, I'm going to use compressed air into the spark plug hole uh, to keep the valves up. And uh, we'll get that swapped out. And then we'll be able to uh, rotate the engine over with our adjustable push rod uh, installed with the rocker arm. And uh, basically, I'm trying to save my push rod length checker tool, checker tool by doing that because it's not designed to hold all the spring pressure. Um, the valve or the lifter will still collapse, so we'll have to account for that measurement that where the lifter comes down. Uh, we'll have to account for that in our overall length of the push rod and do some math over there. All right, so I'm going to get this tool threaded in. I just made this from an old uh, compression tester. And I just threaded a, a coupler on there, or whatever you want to call it. And we got our compressed air. And right now I got the valve turned off, so it's not going to go until I tell it to. All right, and I've uh, already given these retainers a bop with a hammer just to kind of release the keepers. You can hear the air escaping out of here. It's not the best seal I have with that tool, but it works. Here's our light spring that I was talking about earlier. We'll get that thing installed. Okay, it's in. And we'll just go ahead and do the other side. So now that we got that figured out, um, I'm going to put the push rod length checker tool in. I'm going to be using this one. See if we can get it to focus. From Comp Cam. And uh, what's nice about these, you got your length range. That says right on the push rod. And you have your, your lines over here. So every full turn where those lines meet up, that's 50 thou of an inch longer. So when, after you figure out your length that's proper, you just count your turns and you can figure out your push rod length. So pretty awesome. For the setup, you're going to want to try to find uh, the base circle on your camshaft uh, where your lift is sitting on. And then you can set your height. And I, I just roughly... Kind of guess for now where it should be 
and just kind of looking at it and it looks pretty center. So we're gonna probably start with that measurement. Now, if this was a solid roller setup here instead of a hydraulic, uh, this plunger, I wouldn't have to worry about it because there wouldn't be one, it would just be all solid. But now the fact that this has got a plunger in there and there's no fluid in it right now, as I turn it over, uh, the spring pressure is gonna push this in, so it's gonna throw the push rod length off. So what I'll probably have to do is turn this thing in until it bottoms out and then just measure that difference. And to find your uh, base circle of your camshaft, you're gonna to wanna to lift or turn your engine over until your exhaust valve starts to open. Then your intake valve will be on the base circle. And to find the other one for, for the exhaust side, once your intake valve is open fully and is on its way down, that's when you can do your exhaust, find the uh, base circle on it. Okay, so I'm going to use a dry erase marker here and just get that tip all coated nicely. Get the rocker on, get the adjuster nut on. So I got that lifter all the way collapsed down now. There's uh, no slack in that side. So let's see what this looks like. I know it's gonna end up being very short like this because I didn't make an adjustment for it, but I'm just curious. Yeah, so that ended up quite a bit short, doing it that way. Okay, so that length actually turned out perfect. So that's with the lifter compressed. I just went another one and a half turns. So now all I gotta do is figure out how much that plunger actually sinks in, minus that distance from this length, and then just add enough for the preload that we're looking for, which in this case is probably gonna be around that 20, 30 thou mark, somewhere in there. All right, so I got the dial indicator set up. I want to see how much travel that lifter plunger has. So we are zeroed out and I'm going to turn on the adjuster nut here and we are gonna drive this thing down and see what we get. So there's a hundred. And it's stopping right about there. So I'm gonna back it off. Let's just double check it. See, there's a little bit of a variance, guys, because I'm not on a perfect 
spot right here. So there's going to be a bit of a variance there. So let's just get her bottomed out again, which is right there. It's going to put it back on 50 and let's see where we stand when we go ahead and release this. So that's 50. That's 100. Yeah, so we're looking like 145 fell. Okay, so to recap, I did some fine tuning. I found the best rocker arm travel on the valve stem, uh, which ended up being about 60 thousandths of an inch of travel along the valve stem. So it's a pretty, pretty tight line. Uh, I'm happy with that. Um, the push rod length that worked for that turned out to be 8.070 inches long, but that included the plunger travel, right? Because I had that plunger collapse on me because I didn't have it pumped up while I was turning it over. So I had to account for that travel of that plunger. So 8.070 starting point. The lifter plunger travel is 145 thou, uh, so 0.145 of travel, so I had to minus that off of the 8.070, which gave me the 7.925 inches. So that would be like zero lash with the lifter completely open, okay, zero lash. Now you wanna add some preload into there, uh, which in my case is probably gonna be about 25 thou, so I think we're gonna end up going with a 7.950 inch push rod. So that 25 thou added onto there gets us that 7.95. Um, that accounts for a bit of preload and it should center it nicely. So I hope that makes sense. I know it was uh, a little bit confusing maybe the way I was explaining it. Like I said, my head hurts, uh, headache for days. <laughs> Just trying to, trying to get something out for you guys and try to get these push rods ordered so we can get uh, this build moving. Uh, on that, uh, there is a couple surprises on a 302 coming up. Um, at least one good surprise. I'm about to bring that thing to the machine shop. The bearings are all in, so I will contact him and try to get that uh, stuff moved out uh, maybe Monday, so two days from now. Get that stuff moved out. It'll probably be a couple weeks over there, and then I'll pick it up, get that one going. But as soon as I get those push rods in, we can continue on this one. Uh, I'm going to wait with putting the oil pan and everything on at the bottom. Um, Maybe I'll do the oil pump already, we'll see, uh, until I got the top end done. Because knowing my luck, I'm going to button up the bottom end, do something on the top end, and I'm going to drop something into the pan. And then i got to take the pan off again anyway. So the pan is going to be the last thing to get put on, uh, just to make sure that everything is good first. Um, yeah, I think that's all i got going on right now. Uh, we'll end it off there. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the shorter video. Um, but I hope you guys learned something. Take care.